In today's video, we're building an eight card GPU mining rig for Carlson. What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, Carlson over the last week has been all over the place. And I know a lot of you guys took profits already, which is absolutely awesome. But for me, it's pretty far down right now. And my thought is, is can I go ahead and get some GPUs on this and just stack and build my bag with Carlson as fast as possible? Because if it pumps again, I wanna make sure I have a bag ready. So in today's video, we're building an eight card GPU mining rig. Before we get too far into our build, I'd love to hear from you guys. Did you get in on Carlson super early? Did you take profits? I'd love to hear about your success stories. Leave a comment down below, tell me all about it. All right guys, let's take a look at today's GPU mining rig build. So we will be using an Octominer X8 Ultra Plus for today's video. And we have eight 6600 XTs. So let's take a look here. So I previously owned these three. We have our Asus, and this is a 6600 XT, one and two. And then the one in the back here, check this one out. This is actually a Sapphire Nitro, which I'm excited about here. Um, I can't remember where I picked this up. I definitely got this during the last bull market, but this is such a clean and slick looking GPU. So it's really funny. So like this is the Sapphire Nitro here. And if we take a look up on my shelf, <laughs> there's one of my Sapphire Nitros, one of my first ones, the RX 470, four gigabyte. We've come a long way. The design has changed quite a bit, but I'll be honest, I still love that look better than this one, but it still looks good. So I had all three of these in the last bull run. Uh, I mined these in a mix rig, had 6600s and 6600 XTs in it. Just a week ago, I picked these up. I found a deal on eBay. I was looking to get five more, five more, just 6600 XTs. I found these on eBay. Huge shout out to Seb Heslow for helping me secure these and find these. And all five of these right here, I made the guy an offer. He was selling five of them. Uh, I made the offer to him. I think it was like 175 he wanted for each. And I got them for $150 each, which worked out awesome. So these here are additional sapphires, but these are pulses. So pretty, pretty decent, you know, look. When I take this one over here, you know, they actually look pretty different, um, you know, between the two of these here. You got your pulse on the side and the sapphire nitros over here. But I love these. These just scream like mining cards to me. I don't know what it is, but I love it. So eight card, which is nice, or eight pin, I'm sorry. Um, but you know, you're not gonna use much more with these. These could use a little bit of a bath, I'm not gonna lie, but I just wanna get them up and running as soon as I can. Do any of you guys have any of these? These Sapphire Pulses here, the 6600 XTs? Cause I really, really like these. Um, I, it's, my, it's my first time coming across these with the 6600 XTs and I'm thrilled. They look clean, they look slick. I mean, look at all these cards even still have the plugs in them and they came in the original boxes, which was absolutely awesome. So taking a look at our rig, our Octominer X8 Ultra. So I think this is the first Octominer that I ever got about two years ago uh, with this model here. This is actually the model where I got my shirt caught in the fan. I don't know if you guys have had that issue. I like got my shirt too close against it and it cut up my shirt, put a bunch of holes in it. That's how I remember this one. But this is the Octominer X8 Ultra. Uh, pretty slick, if you guys aren't familiar, haven't seen these before. This is actually your motherboard right here in the middle. Cooler, CPUs in the middle. You have uh, your memory right on board there. And then it's actually interesting. You power it from your power supply over here. Look at this nest of cables. We'll have to clean those up for sure. And then I don't have a hard drive in it yet. Uh, the hard drive actually slides right in the front and plugs directly in right here. So I'm actually going to be using the GPU risers 64 gigabyte solid state drive. We'll get that plugged in there. And on the back side of this over here is where you have like your USBs, you have your ethernet, all the other types of connections. Now, nice thing is the motherboard slots directly into this expansion slot. That's kind of what you see here. So pretty much the motherboards actually, if you look on this side, it's taking up a slot here. And then all the other ones are on the side. So you got four on the left and you also have four on the right. If you guys are curious on spacing, 
65 millimeter GPU spacing between them. And then finally our power supply. So our power supply sits here, it has multiple power supplies in here. Um, you can kind of see right back here. You can see we have one, two, three in this one. I think these have, can I pull this out one handed? Yes, I can, heck yeah. I think these are 1200. Um, nope, these are 750. So these are 750 each, still plenty of power. And the nice thing is they're redundant. So you can pull one out when it's running and the other ones just pick up the load. It goes to this distribution board on the back and then look at this rat's nest of cables. Can't wait to clean this up. Um, of all, pretty much is a breakout board, distribution board on the back side of it. And then in the front here, we got this massive fan controller, which is really slick. Uh, Octominers integrate with Hive OS better than anything else. You can control fan speeds, you can look at temperature readouts, it's pretty slick. So I'm not gonna waste too much time here. Uh, we're gonna get our hard drive installed in the front and then get our GPU slotted and get them wired up with power. And then we're gonna jump over to the computer. There's a few things we need to do. We need to pick a pool, what we're gonna mine to. And then we also need to set up our Carlson wallet, which Carlson now has a web wallet. So we'll be using that for today's video and getting that all set up in HiveOS. All right, another build done. Turned out pretty dang good. I forgot how many extra PCI cables these actually come with. I think I have just as much PCI cables bundled up here as I do actually being used. Now, some people may recommend pulling these out, which I get it. The reason I don't is because they're all cut to certain lengths in order to make sure that you have them available. And I would probably lose them or misplace them and then I'd be super pissed. So. I leave them in here, just tie them up here. Oh, I actually found a zip tie I do need to cut. I do prefer zip ties. Some people prefer Velcro. I'm more of a zip tie guy, um, but I do like going ahead and zip tying back the tails and then kind of bundling things together, especially keeping them away from these fans because these fans will chop these up so quickly. But I did my four of the Sapphire Nitros there. Fifth one, standing alone here. It's always super, super close. Look how close that is against the heat sink and the fan. Like, I don't know what they were thinking when they designed this. I don't know why this wasn't placed like down here. I, I don't know, but like, look how close the heat sink is. You can't even see the fan that'll be spinning up against this card. Like, come on, what, 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 what was the idea there? I don't know. Anyways, uh, then we have our Sapphire Pulse and then our two ASUS cards here, which turned out great. But nice thing is it's a 6600 XT rig. So we're only using eight pins through all of these here. Uh, did get my hard drive installed down in there. So let's go ahead and uh, plug this in and get it powered up. All right, take a look. Cards are up and running. I forgot this one had RGB. 
the Sapphire Pulse, that's actually pretty sick. All the other ones are just completely plain Jane. Uh, I did realize completely overspoke, it has four power supplies in it, so four 750 watt. I said three earlier, I realized that as I was plugging those in. All right, let's jump over to the computer and make sure everything comes up the first time. Jumping over, I have named my rig Entei. Myself and my kids name all of the rigs off of Legendary Pokemon. Uh, and this was the one that my son had picked for today's rig, so Entei it is. If you don't know what Pokemon that is, go ahead and look it up. So, take a look. All of the 6600 XTs came up the first time. Not lying, not YouTube lie, it actually is the case, which is awesome. I'm really thankful for it. We have all Samsung except for, let me look here. Okay, all Samsung except for one of our Asus is Micron. What are the chances? Come on. They made both of those twins in there too, which is crazy. So what we're gonna do is our next step is, is we have to set up our wallet. And so we're going to go over and set up our Carlson wallet separately using the web wallet. All right, so prior to the last few days, Carlson hasn't had a web wallet. It hasn't had like a QT or core wallet. It's had, I guess you can call it like a command line driven, or maybe it's a CLI, I don't know, you guys tell me, uh, type of wallet, which I checked out Rabid Mining doing this and setting this up. Shout out to him, by the way. And I was like, ooh, I'm good. And thankfully, waiting a few days, there is a web wallet now available from their team. So if you go over to wallet.carlsoncoin.com, they have a wallet you can set up. Go ahead and click on create new wallet, follow the prompts and make sure that you do write down and secure your seed phrase the best way possible. I'm not gonna show it on, on video here because I don't wanna give away mine. All right, so once you go ahead and set up, ooh, there's dark mode, much better. So once you go ahead and set up your wallet fully, just like you guys can see here, it will give you a receiving address. Go ahead and copy that down. We're gonna need it for the next steps in HiveOS. All right, so the next step is to take what's in our clipboard, which is our Carlson address, and we wanna add it directly to HiveOS. So we're gonna click uh, our farm of choice. We're gonna click wallets, and in the top right-hand corner, you're gonna click add wallet. In there, you're gonna type in KLS, and that'll bring up Carlson. You're now gonna go into the address field and paste in your Carlson address, and you're gonna hit create at the bottom. All right, we're now ready to configure our flight sheet. So when we go back to our rig, we're gonna click flight sheets, and in the top right-hand corner, we're gonna click flight sheets again in the blue text. It's gonna bring up a brand new flight sheet, and in our ticker here, we're gonna type KLS. It's gonna go ahead and bring up Carlson. For our wallet, you now see that we have a KLS wallet, which is listed, which is awesome. Now for our pool, for today's video, I've decided to go with Hero Miners. And Hero Miners is supporting and sponsoring today's video, so huge shout out to them for support of the channel. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna go down to Carlson. We're gonna select there. And Hero Miners makes it real easy. In the top right hand corner, pick the region that is closest to you. For me, I'm going to select this one here, which is us2.carlson.herominers colon 1195. We're gonna jump back to our flight sheet and we're going to select our pool here, which is Hero Miners. And look at that, it's already in Hero Miners. That is awesome that they already have this preset up. So we're gonna select SSL URLs and I'm gonna select East Coast. Easy enough. We're gonna hit apply. Now for our minor. Now there's two different miners you can really go with. Um, it's actually a number of miners you can go with uh, that are out there right now that people have been playing with. If your rig is a NVIDIA rig, you have quite a few options. Uh, AMD, a little bit, not too bad. For me, I'd probably recommend LOL Miner for AMD and Regal Miner for NVIDIA, but test each of them out. For today's video, we're gonna go with LOL Miner. So I'm gonna select LOL Miner and I'm gonna hit up Setup Miner Config. And I'm just gonna review this to make sure there's nothing I need to add to this that nothing's really missing, uh, which works out well. Now for our coin here, it already has Carlson selected, which is great. Already takes care of that. Our wallet and our worker are pre-populated. We don't have to fill out worker name on the right because we're already grabbing it on the left and it's filling out all the other fields. So we're good to go. But make sure you guys do check this when you're setting this up. We're gonna hit apply changes and underneath of that, we're gonna name our flight sheet. So I'm gonna name this, I always like to name this off of the rig. So Entei, 
And then I'm going to name it what we're mining, which is Carlson. And then the miner, which we're using, which is LOL miner. You can really name it whatever you want. Click create flight sheet and then go back to the miner. All right, we're back to the miner. We're gonna go up to flight sheet at the very top and we're gonna find the one we just created and click the rocket or send it to the moon. And that's going to apply it to our rig. Check back in about five minutes as it will take some time to go ahead and install the LOL miner and get your rig up and mining. All right, so it's been a few minutes and take a look. We are up and hashing away and the hash rate looks awesome. We're over 800 mega hash on Carlson currently right now with the 6600 XTs. But let's go ahead and jump over to the rig and take a look. And what do you see? Well, the watts per GPU is 134, 135, which is way too much to be efficient. So let's get some overclock settings in place and kind of bring this down a little bit. All right, guys, it's been a few minutes and we're still hashing and doing well. Things are stable. We're about mid 500s for our hash rate. So let's go ahead and jump over. We'll do one more refresh just to be safe. And we're about 559, 560-ish right around there based off of make and model. Uh, our watts are down pretty good. You know, we went from 100 and what, 34, 35 down to 64, 62, 60 or so. But let's go ahead and take a look at the wall. So at the wall, we're at 643. And if we scroll down, this is a nice benefit of the Octo Miners. Take a look at that power consumption, 649. So it's off by six watts, which is not much, especially if you look at other server cases that don't have the power consumption integration into Hive OS, it's off by several hundred watts. So this is really convenient. Now it's always important to go over to the pool and take a look at what the pool is showing because at the end of the day, the pool is what pays you. So we're over on herominers.com and we're gonna come down to Carlson. Once you're over here, we're gonna scroll down a little bit more and under your stats and payment history, click put in your address and click look up and it'll take just a minute and go ahead and populate all of your data. So scrolling down below, you want to give this a few minutes of hashing. I've only been up for a very short time, but give this a few hours and then check back on it. And it's going to give you a little bit more uh, accurate information right now. It's showing about 26.9 for our daily Carlson earned about $2 and 64 cents a day, but you should give this a few hours. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up today's rig build. I am so excited to get one more rig back in the shed and up and mining. I've been having a lot of fun doing these rig builds over the last few weeks and putting each of these on a different coin that I'm just building my bag on. It feels like we're slowly pulling ourselves out of this bear market. Not sure what your thoughts are. Are we out of the bear market? Are we in the bull market? Is this just stepping into it a tiny bit? Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. But my goal is to build a bag of Carlson with this rig in anticipation for another pump. And then I'll take my profits because at the end of the day, we're in crypto to earn profits. Well, if you guys want to be notified when I do my next GPU mining rig build, go ahead and click that bell down below and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.